black and white photography is hugely popular and there are several different ways of converting images to black and white using Photoshop and each one has its own advantages and disadvantages but here I'm going to show you one technique that takes less than 30 seconds to apply and the results are always really really good Before we get started, my new book, The Digital Darkroom, The Definitive Guide to Photo Editing is now available. The link to order is in the description. So here we have our original image, which works really well in color, but it works even better in black and white. And I don't want to be messing around with any conversion techniques that take me too long, because as I've said, no one that always works really well. So to apply that technique, all we need to do is make sure that we have black in the foreground over here on the left and white as the background color. So to do that, just hit D on the keyboard. If white happens to be in the foreground, just hit X on the keyboard and make sure that black is on the left hand side. And then all that we need to do is go to the adjustment layer icon, which is the half white, half black circle at the bottom of the layers panel. And my menu has popped up just outside of the screen, but I've selected gradient map there. And with the default setting that we have, because we have our foreground color as black and background color as white, we just get a really nice black and white conversion. And just to show you exactly how good this is, I'm just gonna create a black and white adjustment layer. And of course we have lots of sliders here and we could take incredible amounts of manual control over the way that different colors convert to grayscale. But as I say, this technique with the gradient map is all about speed and great results. So if I just switch off the gradient map layer, there you'll see this is the default black and white conversion. And then if I just turn on the gradient map, you'll see that it's a much more punchy result. So you get a really great finish very, very quickly. And if I just turn off that black and white adjustment layer there, you'll see there is no difference. So it is the gradient map that is just adding those really brilliant blacks and bright whites, a lovely tonal range throughout. So that is how to apply a punchy black and white conversion in Photoshop in less than 30 seconds.